Gagne, the very subtle Marcel Gagne. He is our Linux expert. Because I'm very subtle. The author of the Cooking with Linux column in the Linux Journal. And today, he's going to show us something very important on any system. Even though Linux is incredibly reliable, very robust, you still have to back up. Yeah, well, you still have to do that sort of thing. No in matter fact, what. In fact... In I've fact, heard more than once somebody saying, well, I don't have anything really important on my PC. Have you heard this? Yes. I don't have anything really important. Yes. And then something dreadful happens, and they go, <laughs> but I had like three years' worth of emails, and it was yeah. really important. Sa you know, bookmarks, saved games, emails. There's lots mm -hmm. of stuff that you may not think of that is very important mm -hmm. system. So Linux, does it have a built-in backup utility? Actually, there are tons of built-in backup utilities right off the bat. As I usual mean, with Linux, it, it comes with a lot of software. Yeah, there's a lot of software that comes with it. And of course, there's the ever-popular command line stuff, TAR, CPIO, which businesses will use, like people working in the server room in the background. Those are really sort of stuff. designed for, originally for tape backups. Uh, what they for tape backups, but almost anything now. else. I mean, you can write to disk, you can right. write to a, a USB drive that you got plugged into the side of your PC. I mean, there are a lot of possibilities. Most people, of course, don't want to sit there and start mucking about with the command line, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and frankly, nowadays, there isn't any point in doing that. There's no real need. There are a lot of tools. One of the tools that I, that I point people to all the time, and I said, you know, get some sexy backup tools. One of the ones I point people to right off the bat is K3B. Ooh, is this sexy. I love K3B. Oh, really K3B is cool for a long time. You know, stop that. We're in deep trouble if we stop. think this is sexy, Marcel. All right. <clears throat> it's beautiful. K3B. K3B it's, it's, is it's your all-around working with CDs and DVD programs. You can make copies, uh, ISO copies of, of okay. CDs that you've got. You can burn ISOs, you know, like if you if you want to download a Linux distribution, you want to burn it to disk. Okay. It's great for making uh, DVDs, uh, DVD movies, and so, so forth. So this is basically Roxio's Easy CD Creator or Nero, exactly. but it's an open source version. Exactly. It's an open source version, and if you want, you can actually use this for doing backups. And let's say that we wanted to do a DVD. We click New DVD Backup, okay. and uh, let's say that I wanted to back up my, um, oh, I don't know, I've got something here that says eye candy. I would just drag that into here. I'll tell you, Linux has come a long way in this. It has light. come I mean, an amazingly long way. Disk burning support is, is fairly late coming, arriving to, to Linux, as it is actually to every operating system. But now it's just as e easy to use as anything else. I mean, it's really good. Now, see what's happening here. As I'm adding things, you'll notice at the bottom of the line, it's actually starting to show me uh, how, how much, much space data. all this right. stuff is taking up. Uh, follow link now, and, and well, yes, that's I want to add. So it. if you put a sim link as you just did, yes. it will say, "Oh, you mean this folder?" Okay. Exactly. So this is a sim link, but of course it'll start adding all these things. And of course I've got a DVD, so I've got like tons and tons. You've of just room. begun to fill. I've just begun to fill the thing, and I could just keep adding things like that. And when I'm done with it, it's a, it's as simple as clicking burn. Well, this makes it easy. And away you go. Now there are things that you're going to want. I mean, if you're doing a backup, obviously you'll verify. want to do things like verify the data because I want to make sure that this is good and so right. forth. So this is actually a great way to do backups, you know, when you think about it. K3B, and K3B. that comes pretty commonly with most distributions? Any desktop that's running, K, that's running KDE or yeah. any so distribution Kubuntu. that's running KDE, Kubuntu is going to have okay. it already in it. It's so a great so. little program. There are, however, other programs that you might want to take a look at, and I'm going to show you another one right now. This one is called Keep. Keep stores data in a keep. And, and, and a data, by the way, could be, again, an external USB drive. It could be a network drive. So keep doesn't have to be like local. That. It could be anywhere. Exactly. Uh, well, no, actually, it has to be local, but it could back up anywhere. I see. Okay, so you're not backing up to a CD or you DVD back up or anything locally, like that. And then you move it to a CD? No, it can. Uh, you can back it up to a CD later if oh, you want okay. to do. But the idea behind Keep is you've got a little pro you've got a little program that runs in the background that does backups on the fly oh, as the you time. go along ah, all the time. I like so that. So it's always backing up your data and taking care of it for you and so forth. And of course, you can you, and adding something to your backup is as simple as going through this little wizard. So you click what directory for backup. Well, I want to back up. Every time you come in, I, I always think, boy, Linux is really matured. I mean, this stuff looks beautiful. It is, and this is simple stuff. Now, Keep doesn't come with your desktop. You'll have to go download it, but it's, it's free. It is. Open it's source. free. It's pretty easy. Um, I could say, uh, let's uh, back it up to this directory here. and. Um, we have 30 seconds. So oh my God! Move quickly. We only have 30 seconds. Type fast. Anyway, so I can keep so I can keep I doing that. And it will back it up in the That's background. Key. The other one I want to show is this one, and I just want is to show you this, this is command not command line. This is going to be command line, but this is for if you want to make a backup that you can restore from later. This is a program called Mondo Rescue. That's why it has to be from command line. Because it has to be from you command restore line. Restore the whole operating. You system. will restore the whole operating system. Everything about your system. You can you can store it to a tape drive. You can store it to a network mounted partition. So this is like Ghost, basically. This is like Ghost. 
Um, but you can also pull back just individual pieces oh, with a program like called that. Mondo Restore. This Mondo is Rest. this is like going over the top. This is like you know I really really desperately want to back up everything right. on my system. This is for disaster like major disasters. Well, you, you might know, do this. The first world has and exploded. Then you keep to keep stuff up to date. Exactly. Right. Or do this from time to time. And this is great for businesses as well. If businesses Mondo you know who have mul resting. lots of different people logging into the system, they might want to look at this one. Three great programs. Three I think great programs. They're free. Get all three. Marcel Gagne, our resident Linux guru, the author many books including uh, Kiss the Blue Screen of Death Goodbye moving to the moving to Ubuntu, Ubuntu. which is the, mo the second most recent one and my very latest What's moving to free software moving to free software in general moving to free software oh, go to MarcelGagne.com that's where I'm gonna move for more information on backing up your Linux system